Hey guys, Inferno here with a first playthrough of Bright Poor. Uh, this is a game on Steam. Uh, it's developed by Radical Forge and published by Rogue Games. Came out on the 1st of September this year, 2020. A gunshot rattles the house and now your owners are dead, clearly murdered, but why? And where's the culprit? The answers won't be easy to come by, especially because you're the family cat. Guided by the omnipotent narrator, players feline hero Thero as he embarks on an epic adventure to solve the crime and exact revenge on the evildoers. So there's over 70 levels, more than 180 hidden collectibles, and looks pretty cool. So let's adjust the music before we we'll just straight in. We're we'll just straight in. Oh, there you are, Theo. Honestly. Late to your own dream. Do you even know where you are? Ah well, it's time we got you sorted out with these cards. Come on now, we haven't got all day. Tap and hold a card to preview and release to play it. Oh, there you are. Oh, sorry about that. Just give that rewind button a tap and we'll see if we can't start walking around things instead of into them. Tap the rear button button to undo the previous turn. If you ever find yourself in a pickle, just remember that you can take a step back and try something else. Now, give these a whirl and see where they get you. Uh huh. So if we do that one, that'll block that one, no. But we want that one, it's fine. Then we want... Is that one fine? Can you move the camera? No. We've got to do that one then. What's that? Ah, oh, you can do it. See, I'd, I would have liked to have just investigated these There you go! Things. Remember, Theo, you can look around at any time. Can I go? What's that just there? Maybe you should give it a peek. Tap on a highlight object to view a collectible. Right. Can you zoom in? No. Shelter. Odd cat box. A strangely familiar but otherwise nondescript box washed up on the shores of Theo's subconscious. Hmm. I wonder what that's doing sitting around here. Maybe you should keep your eyes open for other interesting things. You never know what you'll find. Right. Well, we're done here. Okay. Go on, leap into your family's arms. So Lauren and Nathaniel are waiting. Yep, so we've got this one. And then we have this one. One murder. Waking up. Oh, no. Ah! What was that? Oh, okay. Um, well, after being woken unceremoniously by a sudden noise, our hero Theo felt that if he was to be kept awake, he deserved to know why. Okay, so we got that Theo's bed, warm, comforting, and tempting, a reminder of hazy dreams. I also saw, what did I see, that flushing? Nathaniel's recognition. It is always a cause for celebration when genius is recognized. And then it says three of three, so maybe it's that. There you go. Joshua's acceptance letter. An acceptance letter for tutelage at a prestigious school. Perhaps proof that genius is hereditary. So you can rotate the thing, you can't see behind it though, that's alright. Alright, so we've got to come out, so we may as well do that, and that. Disturbance. Hearing the yelling from the kitchen, Theo wondered if he had really moved from his bed just to listen to some tiff. So we have this. Hastily packed suitcase, a suitcase rapidly filled and suddenly cast aside. Then we've got the family photo. Despite the awkward posing, happiness and pride are visible in this photo. And piano. No longer attended to or cared for, but grand despite the lack of use. Okay. 
Despite his efforts, Theo couldn't simply stay here forever. He had to find out what was happening. serious than he thought. Ooh, bodies. The kitchen seemed normal. Oh, damn. Except, what was that he could see across the room? He had to take a closer look. Oh, you can zoom out. Sweet. Okay. So we've got the cat bowl, food bowl, one of Theo's most prized possessions, completely devoid of answers in sight or food. is flashing besides the bodies the young boy and his cat whoever said dogs are man's best friend had clearly never seen this photo and it said three of three. Oh, you change the station huh by oh, the camera well wow. glowing in here. Quite anything else click worthy. That. Yep. A selfie taken by Joshua during his travels after college, sent to his parents as a memento. Alright, so we need to go the best way forward without wasting Theo couldn't believe what he was seeing. His family, motionless on the floor. But that was it. No gun? Nothing at all? Was someone else here? As he turned away, Theo could only think about one thing. Someone was surely responsible for this. And he had to know who. Cautiously examining the hallway, Theo saw no signs of the killer. Instead, he found a path of destruction carved through strange machines before him. Nathaniel's graduation, the optimism of youth, oblivious to the crushing disappointment of reality after former education. Grandfather clock, like all household clocks, the rhythmic ticking is a constant reminder of the universe's slow march to entropy. Out of place robot. Strange robot sitting in the front room and falling to pieces. Okay, so we're here. Um, that one's not going to be good for us. That one. Yeah, let's do that one there. The deeper into the room Theo moved, the more he realized that something was amiss. That bright red light hadn't always been there, had it? Okay, I. Two, chase. Oh gosh. Although he could not shake the image of his departed owners, Theo suddenly found himself somewhere very different indeed. However, before he could appreciate his new surroundings, he found his attention drawn to the glowing hot wall of energy in front of him. Okay, let's check out this. A ruined security bot. A modern and threatening looking robot, rendered immobile and useless. So, we can move forward to there. Faced with something so clearly hazardous, he thought it might be wise to take a moment to think before diving headlong into oblivion. Uh, so let's wait. And then move. Oh, what a pleasant surprise! After his daring oh, maneuver, Theo found that he was still alive. So Unfortunately, shouldn't. there was one more laser to slip past. Okay, let's, let's rewind that. 
So let's go to that one. Ah, oh, still gonna do it, isn't it? Yeah, it's still gonna zap me in the face. What if I did it and then... Oh! Beacon. Alright, so let's go back then. So what if we wait again one more time? Something. Oh, yeah. Theo glared at the broken robot blocking his path. After risking his life twice, he was in no mood for this obstruction. Perhaps that broken vent offered salvation. Janitor. Still somewhat tense from his previous trial, Fear was immensely relieved Whoa, to find sleep. no deadly lasers when he emerged from the vent. On the other hand, he was instead faced with a functional, frantic, and quite soggy security robot. Okay, what was that achievement there? Scorched to be burned to death. What was the other one? It's not gonna look too far in those. Okay. Oh that's a good view. So is that saying we're allowed to find the other? Let's, let's look at fish first. A comfortable flatfish. A fish who goes by his name, by the name Fergus, whose steely gaze wards off even the hungriest of felines. And we've got this guy, a janitor bot, a poor custodian spinning their wheels attempting to clean up after someone else. And this sea mine advertisement. Need to safeguard your underwater assets. These marvels in explosive technology will quickly demonstrate the meaning of private property. <laughs> so, if I go there, then no, no, no. That was not the best one. No, no, I can only rewind once, can't I? Oh, cool, you can do two. Alright, so let's go there and there. As he skirted by the distracted machine, Theo found himself eyeing the whole riddled aquarium. Either someone was stalking the halls, shooting at water features, or the security needed to work on their aim. So let's try that one. Though the appeal of fresh fish was enticing, it was offset by the risk of an unexpected bath. Rather than contemplate such a terrible fate any further, Theo decided to make a quick exit. Advancing cautiously, Theo was encouraged by the sight of another aquarium, this time with the water safely inside, not threatening to unpleasantly dampen his fur. There was no time to fish, however, as security appeared to be taking its job a touch more seriously. An overt but befitting show of respect to the true superior life on Earth. Handgun advertisement. Reliable, concealable and effective. A must-have sidearm for the professional hench person. Comes with a variety of upgrades to fit your style and needs. Oh, stealth. Alive, not sure, dead, maybe unfazed by the current situation? Definitely. Okay, so I need. Oh, I'm Although Theo could be easily distracted, he knew when it was time to focus. Away first, so. I could go, yeah, there. Um, yes, I can go that way. Oh, Tearing his attention right. away from the unattainable, Theo delicately stepped between the broken remains of some very expensive-looking showpieces. Despite his lack of any understanding of fine art, he was disgusted by the wanton destruction before him. Having successfully weaved past the searching eyes of the guard, he was overjoyed to see that he could just follow the killer through a door, instead of crawling through the ventilation like a rodent. Theo cast his eyes about the grandiose room, the impressive decor marred by the smoking wreckage of robotic guards. Clearly, someone with no respect for interior design had been this way. However, 
Hanging over the remains of a reception desk, Theo spotted something that took his interest. Bright Poor Industries. Vending machine offers a variety of villainous beverages, unfortunately not designed to be used by Theo. Stop. Bot. Though this robot can't stop panicking, it refuses to abandon its position at the reception desk. That's dedication. And Although this place was impressive, Theo knew he had precious little time to admire it. Many questions, but lollygagging wouldn't answer any <laughs> of them. That's right. Okay, so we're facing that way. Let's go forward one. Whoa! Forward two. Despite the damage, the underlying class of this bright poor establishment was clear. The placement of several large aquariums, brimming with exotic fish, was an inspired design choice that Theo could respect. Theo crossed the room, breathing in the intoxicating fragrance of fish, while taking care to avoid the remaining hazards. As he did, his mind began to wander. Why was a place like this situated beneath What's his home? Said? And more importantly, why had these fishy... Oh. A proud and majestic company sign out of place amongst the debris. ...treats not been brought to his attention before. At first glance, it appeared that Theo had stumbled into a storage room for broken glass. Except there were other items in the glittering fragments. Grenades? Missiles? An umbrella? So the show floor, classic bomb, when it comes down to it, sometimes bad guys just want the classics. Uh, trick umbrella advertisement, rain or shine, this is simply the first choice in defense and offense. This, this undercover weapon will turn heads or remove them and is suitable for formal, formal events. A security robot overly focused on its patrol route. The biggest threat is accidentally being run over. Okay, so we've got to be careful with that robot then. So we want to go. Uh, he's going to run us over here. What if we wait? He's going to go there and there and there and there. So if we go around him. Theo padded behind the guard, pondering his discoveries. A hidden underground facility, robotic security, and now rooms filled with odd weapons. What on earth was this place? Looking back, Theo considered that it was perhaps unwise to leave such destructive toys lying around. On the other hand, there was no way someone would leave live explosives on display. Hmm. Probably best to ignore it and hurry on. Huh. All right, the boardroom. Theo contemplated the ruins of the once magnificent boardroom, which had been reduced to little more than burnt mahogany by some kind of explosion. Apparently, the killer had needed to clear the room in a hurry. But why? Oh, perhaps those lasers were a motivator. Um, trap chair. These chairs are designed to help establish dominance in a meeting by disposing of undesirable attendees. <laughs> Grenade advertisement. Need your enemies to disappear in a hurry? Would you prefer them to be in pieces? Then these are definitely for you. Caution. Good throwing arm, not included. 
Nathaniel's dealings. What Nathaniel might foolishly consider his first real success in life, sealed by a handshake and immortalized in print. Okay, so what's the deal with the with the lasers, I wonder? So if we go that one there. With the wall of death slowly advancing, oh, Theo scrambled for a plan to slip by. There! Across the room, a shattered glass wall offering a glimpse of escape. Where's the glass room? Ah, glass wall. Deftly avoiding glass with his paws, oh, Theo found his eyes drawn to a large portrait on the wall. Was that oh, I see. Nathaniel? As he stood, he wondered, how much of all this was his master responsible for? Oh no, not restart. Wrong button. Okay, do Theo I contemplated the ruins of the once magnificent boardroom which had been reduced to little more than burnt mahogany by some kind of explosion. Apparently, the killer had needed to clear the room in a hurry. But why? Okay. Oh! Perhaps those lasers were a motivator. Okay, so we got that. 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 Alright, so we've got to get there in a precise movement. So if I go... With the wall of death slowly advancing, Theo scrambled for a plan to slip by. There, across the room, a shattered glass wall offering a glimpse of escape. Let's go... I think mean, that's got one, two, three, turn, and then a straight. Deftly avoiding glass with his paws, Theo found his eyes drawn to a large portrait on the wall. There we go. Was that Nathaniel? As he stood, he wondered, how much of all this was his master responsible for? Act three already. Someone had clearly been rifling through their deliveries recently, though they didn't seem to have found what they were looking for. Okay, so we got something there, ransacked crates, collection of crates turned over in a desperate search, patrol bot blueprint, a technical specification for a bright poor industry security robot, surprisingly simple. of empty vials. A box is torn open and abandoned, leaving the vials within untouched. What could these be for? Okay. Theo had apparently added try. his name to the waiting list. Let's try that. Obviously, the killer had been looting the facility, and it was unlikely that they planned to use volatile weaponry to spread peace and joy. Being a conscientious cat, Theo knew it fell to him to put a stop to the killer's nefarious activities. himself inside a warehouse, the towering stacks of crates gave Theo some measure of hope. Perhaps the killer would try to search the top of an unstable pile and fall to their doom. Sadly, none of these weapons of destruction appear to be built with pause in mind. The world can be a very unfair place. And then a mine. Sea mine crate. Something built to sink ships will have no trouble with an overconfident cat. Not for prodding. So 
we need to get there or there. So if we go that one. Lost in daydreams of the killer being oh. buried alive, Theo stepped and blindly forwards onto way, a conveyor so belt, promptly okay, shuffling him away from his happy thoughts. Perhaps it was unlikely that the killer would be ended by fallen cargo, but the belts leading into the dark and deadly machinery seemed to promise an untimely demise. Theft. Spotting a bundle under some nearby crates, it appeared Theo's wishes had been heard. However, he tempered his excitement until he could get a closer look. Looted explosives crate. A tipped over crate that should be filled with explosives but is worryingly empty. Uh, completely average box. Oh, an empty crate. Very interesting. Close to the definition of scraping the bottom of the barrel. Right, so. If you tempered his excitement, he didn't lose it. Oh, that's. Not gonna work. So let's go straight. broken belt with great care, he was disappointed to discover not a body, but simply several empty crates bearing the label High Explosive. The empty crates led Theo to conclude three things. The killer had found what they were looking for, they were definitely up to something, and Theo's work was not yet done. He moved on with the hope that the killer's loot would be enough to slow them down. the erratic crusade of the robots as they fired at non-existent threats. Perhaps the killer had just passed through? Algae container, a specially designed crate used to safely house ominous algae. Mysterious drawing, lines carefully etched into concrete that vaguely resemble a cat. The, de the determination of the artist excuses their lack of attention to detail. Laser bot. There's something simply wonderful about lasers. Efficient, destructive, and deadly. You know where you are with lasers. Okay, so we're over here. So if I go. Oh, this can label, isn't it? It's too really small. Move. Ah! Yep. Oh, he's gonna rewind. Okay, so let's rewind again. Okay. The belt, oh unable to tell the difference between a cat and a crate, and lacking the desire to learn, moved him once again as it would any other box. Ah! Oh, it's got to go the other way. Headed for the door, 
Theo couldn't shake the feeling that the strange blue algae was creeping steadily across the wall behind him. Oh well, it was probably harmless. Whoever Theo was following had certainly spooked these poor robots who were all consumed by blind panic. Crate was developed to hold large amounts of growing algae, it also functions well as mood lighting. This is true. And can I see something else flashing? Odd cipher, a bizarre series of patterns with no clear meaning, perhaps some kind of code. So let's see if that helps me at all. I don't think so. Okay, so if I step once forward, that's going to move me. Yeah, that's probably what I want. One more. And I'm going to do that one. As he carefully padded forwards, avoiding lasers, now we're going to hit the Theo laser. noticed the most curious drawing etched into the wall. But why would a killer stop to doodle? bizarre graffiti he kept seeing. It was unlikely the killer was taking the time for artistic creativity. No. Was someone else in the facility? Save that for the end, I think. Then move there, and then use that one. Nice. As he stepped into the room, Theo found his racing mind halted by yet another drawing of a slightly more significant scale. Abstract mural, a series of rigid geometric lines that seems to be take seems to take the form of a figure. Who could it be? Uh, vandalism, a, a rack of very lethal and very illegal firearms, a bestseller. Theo tried his best to examine the etching, but found it devoid of artistic value. There. A modern miracle of air cooling technology, obviously worthy of close attention and study. Alright, so that guy's going to move down. So I think I should go... A for effort, he suppose. Oh, that's going to move me down and it down as well, okay. So if I go forward... Uh, oh, if I wait... I can't do anything anyway. What if I wait... to move away, Theo couldn't help but wonder who would put so much effort into these acts of vandalism. Was it maybe some kind of poorly drawn corn cup? 
Perhaps, he thought as he carried on, the murderer was simply an awful artist. Whatever it was, the mural failed to hold Theo's interest long enough for any meaning to be gleaned. According to the booming sounds of heavy industry and the massive shipping containers, Theo had found himself in some kind of loading station. Very large shipping container, most notable for its size and not for the expensive hardware concealed within. An obvious tyre, bright red necktie deliberately knotted around a railing like a flag. It almost feels too obvious. Okay, so I want to go... Theo's eye was caught by something colourful and clearly out of place hanging from a rail across the room. A discarded tie. Was this some kind of taunt? It was becoming clear to Theo that the large boxes wouldn't just wait for him to cross, so he quickened his pace towards the infuriating clue. Hmm. Clearly the killer had left this tie to send a message, but in doing so they had left a trail for Theo to follow. Perhaps he'd get the better of them yet. Though he was intrigued by the surprisingly expressive train waiting before him, on the other side of the tracks a curious hole in the wall drew his eye. Perhaps the killer had made their own exit. Covered crate. What does it hold? Jewels? Acorns? The gateway to another world? Sadly, due to your indifference, we will never know. Boarding. Train rubber. Zero emission semi-sentient train, fueled only by its self-hatred over public transport. Map A, a map detailing the railway for those who struggle to remember their stop. Alright, so we're gonna go that one I think. And Stepping onto the train, Theo glanced towards his goal and noticed a strangely carefree looking robot bumbling around near a control panel. Hopefully this one wasn't a threat. The train began to quake, and Theo couldn't react fast enough to leap off. He had better find something to hold on to. Oh, no. <laughs> Theo was quite unprepared for the sudden velocity <laughs> and found his current <laughs> predicament extremely upsetting. Luckily, he just needed to hold on until the train looped back to the station. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, Let's go. As the hatch broke free and rocketed past him, Theo pressed himself against the train <laughs> and vowed to dedicate the rest of the ride to keeping his eyes open for low-flying objects of feline destruction. <laughs> Go. Theo might have found some comfort knowing he wasn't the only one caught unaware by the sudden departure, but it was all he could do to just keep his paws on the ground.
hard kill. <laughs> Staggered off the train quickly, <laughs> driven by his newfound appreciation for solid ground and the terrible fear that it might suddenly set off again. <laughs> okay, um, so we wanna... Just ahead of him, he could see that bloody robot <laughs> that had sent the train off in the first place. He followed the irritating machine through the jagged opening in the wall. Theo hoped that he wouldn't ever have to lay eyes on it again. Theo eyed his new surroundings curiously, noting the piles of unused tiles and pipes. Across what little floor existed, there was a sharp drop from which a blinding light and tremendous heat emanated. Besides this abyss sat... Ugh, oh, that bloody robot. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I'm going to... Can I just exit there? Or is it complete the game? Yeah, try exit. Brilliant. So you got what skins? Oh, you can unlock scar oh, rewards for cleaning various hidden tasks. Well, that's cool. Tabby cat, a classic ginger tabby cat. Ah, let's go ginger. Equip. 
Huh. Uh, what else we got? We got skins, collectibles. So, okay, so it's not really in terms of level 1, level 2, level 3, it's just about them. About the game. Made by Radical Forge and published by Rogue Company, which is pretty cool. Alright, this is a cool game. I'll definitely have to play that one again. Ah, uh, you yeah, know, continue the game. But for now, my name's Inferno. This was Bright Poor, and really enjoying it. It's just a very simple game. Can be challenging, but you can rewind and, and reassess your, your moves. A bit like Lara Croft Go kind of thing. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Alright, have a good weekend gaming, and I will see you next time. Bye.